In this video I'm going to show you how to set out and manufacture a 90 degree bend in steel trunking. The piece of trunking we're going to use is 700 millimeters long. This is already cut to length. I want you to do your 90 degree bend at 350 millimeters. So we'll measure that out first. I'm using a scribe to work on my piece, so it's more accurate than a pen. I'll use a pen just to show you more clearly for the camera. That's my centre line. I'm going to mark that all the way around. I'll do the same on my piece. Next we're going to put two 45 degree marks on the bottom of the trunking, so that will be there, we're our first centre point. Then that will take two 90 degree lines down from those marks. Then we'll match up that two. To make my lines clearer, I'm going to use a board marker to make them stand out more. Okay, now we're ready for cutting. I'm going to place this bit of 3x2 CLS stud wood inside the trunking. Now I'll support it while I'm making my cuts. So, By using the timber, we're not collapsing the trunk while we're, while we're gripping it, but in the vise. We're going to use a 32 teeth per inch hacksaw to make our cuts. And I'm going to start on the shoulder of this cut and do a compound mitre. If you're less confident, I would suggest you can cut these 90 degree cuts first. So that one first, then that one, and then turn the piece around, clamp it, Cut that 45 degrees and then that 45 degrees. In my case, I'm going to do that and cut both of them at the same time.
down this line and all the way this line to that point. We do not cut that back edge. That will become our bend. Move the timber along and support my cut so this isn't moving. And the same again, if you're less confident, cut on that line, then cut that line when you turn the piece around. In my case, I'm going to cut both at the same time. Another tip if you're less confident with a saw is to hold both ends. Now we have a separated piece. So we've removed that section. We need to remove this small triangle here, and then we'll be able to make our bend. Now the way I'm clamping it now, you can't clamp it very tight because it will crush. Hold it just tight enough to make your cut. And now we've removed those sections, you can see what we've taken out, that's all gone. That leaves us with this piece, which we need to do some further cutting on because we want that triangle and we want that rectangle minus this flange and that curve. Okay, so we'll cut this first. Slide that into the vise, put the saw underneath, tighten the vise, make your cut. That's one of the pieces we need. We'll remove that flange off of this piece in the same manner. Tighten, cut, nice low angle. Off of the head off for that to slide into there, that fits perfectly. Right now, file all of your pieces, get rid of any sharp edges. I've already filed this, but everywhere you've cut, use a file. I've already done this piece. Okay, next up you'll notice I've got a 90 degree angle set into this bench for these two pieces of timber. If you get your trunking, ease it into that 90 degree and make sure that your cuts are accurate, which they are. Turn that over. This piece on the inside of the trunk is going to fit there and be riveted together to join the trunk back together and give it some strength. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark a couple of places on both sides. 
for my rivets to go. And then use a centre punch. By punching it, that will stop the drill scooting around. Help it stay central to where you want to cut. 4.5mm drill, and I'm using 4mm rivets. into its 90 degree position, hold it nice and tight, mark through, mark the underside of this, so you know which way around it goes. Next, use your punch again. And drill those sections. Remember we've marked the underside of this, so we're going to pass it in that side down and put in our first rivet. It's 4mm rivets, 10mm long, pass that from the underside and literally squeeze. Let's crush the rivet down. Now I have that first one in place, I'll move my plate so it lines up with my other holes. I'm sure this holds a 90 degree angle while I put the rest of them in. Slightly off center, really simple to resolve. Center it back down there. And stir it all final with it. There we have it. Now the bottom is nice and secure. That strengthened that up, but we haven't secured there. So the way we do that is with our remaining rectangular piece. I've still got my centre line from my original marking out, which is that one there. I'll put that line in the vise. piece is going to secure the inside of your trunking. So in this case we'll need to mark these holes first and then offer that piece in and mark three. So for that I will use my piece of timber again just to support it. Repeat the same on the other side. Up them out. Punch. And drill these two. Now 
Now that's complete. File out the sharp edges. Offer in your 90 degrees piece. Ensure you're still 90. Hold it nice and tight and mark through your new holes. So remind yourself which way was up. Just put a little arrow on the back of it so you know which way it's going. In. Clamp these pieces. don't have a punch and you're on site, you'll normally find screws lying about the place, they'll do exactly the same job. Right. My mark's telling me that's ways up, just pop that up. Rivet gun. Now put one in, it's a lot easier. Same applied to earlier, if they're tight they won't go, you can pop your drill back through. There we have it, manufactured 90 degree bend. Very strong, perfect 90. Once you've done all of that, anything that you've cut or drilled, you should spray with zinc galvanising spray to prevent it rusting.